Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, you with Amira from amirasalon.com and this is your monthly reading for May. I hope you're having a great year so far. You might want to go back and check out my 2019 series of videos because I did a month by month forecast in each of those videos. I'll link it in the section after the video is completed. And I'd just like to thank you once again for being here, for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos as well. I truly appreciate it. It really helps the channel. I'm going to be using my Love Oracle deck, Amira's Love Oracle cards, which are only available on my website. And I do always have specials running with my decks of cards, a two for one and also a single deck. You're most welcome to purchase. I do ship worldwide, so you can check those out. I'm also going to be using the Morgan Greer Tarot. I channel through the cards. I'm not a traditional card reader. I don't read the cards. I'm a medium, so I channel through the cards. I do my own unique style of reading, and that's how I can get these names and messages for you that are channeled through the cards. So sometimes when you see a lot of cards that I put out or whatever, you know, sometimes it's just um, that I can get a real feel through those cards and just go through them. So sometimes I just use the cards as a tool and something just to, you know, keep my hands busy. So I hope you're having a beautiful year so far. Wishing you all the best for May moving forward into the next part of this year. Happy spring for those of you who are in spring and happy fall for those of you who are in fall. Check out my workshops. I've got advertised on my website as well. I'd love to meet you in person and do a workshop with you as well. And I'm also occasionally doing some cocktail party meet and greets too in different parts of the world that you might be located in. So please check those out too. Um, if you do speak a foreign language and you'd like to join my channel, please reach out to me. I'd love to have you or anyone who'd like to join my channel, whether it's for a short time or a long time. Anyone who does not have their own YouTube channel is most welcome to audition for my channel. Anyway, let's get on with the readings, everybody. Take care. And I do advise you to look at your sun, moon, rising and Venus. Sometimes the messages can correlate and a lot of people do cross readings as well. They'll read for, you know, look at the readings for other people. So they'll get a lot of those things out of it too. Lots of blessings. Ciao for now. Hi Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's have a look for you Pisces, what's happening? What's going on? Jumping out, we have the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords. Okay, so thinking about stuff Pisces, thinking, contemplating, bringing in messages, channeling messages. Feeling like you don't want to make a move, a decision until you know something shifts. And if you are looking at this video before the 15th of April, this is for May, then don't make any decisions until Mercury is out of the shadow and back over new territory, which will be from the 15th of April onwards. So if you're contemplating something, don't make a decision until after the 15th of April. Sit with it and tune into it, meditate on it, see what you need to do. You're going to be in two minds about something. Let's have a look at the cards and see what is coming up for you. I am picking up a T sounding name like Trixie, Tracy, Teresa, Terry, Terence, Troy, Tony, Thomas, Tom. Um, Triana, I'm picking up the name Triana. I don't know if that's a real name or not, but it sounds something like Triana. Um, that's weird. That's unusual. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I can't control the landline. If the landline goes, it goes. Okay, let's have a look. Pisces. Lovers, nice. Okay. People around you might be jealous of you, jealous of your relationship, jealous of a partnership, 
jealous of a new love coming in or a lover that you've been with or a partnership that you're in and with. You could have had a fire sign coming in with you, around you, male or female, depending on what you're looking for. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You're reaping the rewards of something. You're getting money back from something, Pisces. You've got more money flowing into your life in this middle part of the year. So May, June, July, I feel like there's more money. How is this money coming in? Through competitions, through winning things, through shining. If you're, I'm getting an image of you if you are working in an office where you have to meet a target like sales. You're going to be getting the target and getting the bonus, okay? Or if you're in something where you're signing up clients, um, you're going to be the one that signs up the bigger deals and gets the best commission or the best clients. There's competition around you, but you're flourishing with your energy, okay? It's not going to keep you back. It's going to make you even stronger having healthy competition around you. It's like you're on fire, Pisces. You've got the relationship, the love, the love relationship there or coming in or the partnership. And you've also got the shining your light in your element of finances and work. You could actually have people around you who are jealous of everything just panning out for you in a very good way. You feel like um, you're focusing a lot, working a lot harder. You are working on your relationships with people. They could be your clients, they could be your co-workers, they could be your bosses, your colleagues, your subordinates. You feel like um, there's a new journey that you're going on. I'm also seeing you potentially going to study something, doing a, a weekend course or a new certificate in something. You're going to be accredited with something new or learn something new. There's a new learning around you. This new learning is going to bring you a wave of strength, success, opulence, abundance, money. It's all done in a very just and legal way. There's nothing illegal about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you indecisive about? Okay. There could be an offer coming around you from somebody that has made you indecisive about whether you should take it or not. And you will decide um, sooner than later in the next four to six days or weeks. And the offer may be, I'm picking up that you could be headhunted by somebody. You might, somebody else from a different company or a different business might try to come and grab you and it could be a client of yours that comes in and says, why don't you come and work for me? You're going to work out whether you're going to do that or not. And it's going to be about the money. So if you do take it, it's because it's going to give you more money. If you don't take it, it's because it's not going to give you more money, success, abundance, finance and prosperity. And something new to learn. They could even be saying, come with me and I will sponsor you in a course. I will pay for your education uh, I will send you to college. Uh, I will get you accredited in X, Y and Z. I will make you a manager. So this person could come and find you without you even looking. I feel sometimes, Pisces, you get very lucky with the flow of things and being in the right place at the right time. This is feeling like a very um, positive reading. Right place at the right time. You're going to have new ideas and quick, swift ideas about new areas of territory that you're going to cover. If you are working in sales, you might be given a new territory literally to take over and cover for somebody that might have left. They could be downsizing. This is why you're working more or working smarter, not harder. But they could be saying, look, uh, Pisces, this person is gone and we want you to... We don't really want to replace that person. We want you to cover their territory. And that way, you're actually going to, it's going to benefit you. You're going to expand your horizons. 
um, and it's not going to be too much for you to handle. So there's going to be a swift shift with maybe something to do with a uh, reorganization of an organization. Um, what's the word for that where people get, um, some people get released and then they re, reorganize a, a company, restructuring. So a restructure is going on here and you are going to be put in a position of more power, abundance, success and prosperity and you, you are going to be noticed for your talents, beauty queen. Noticed for your talents, being put on a, a stage, on a pedestal, being admired and adored, being seen as a leader. It's almost effortless, effortless, effortless stuff. Like you don't even have to um, think about it. It's a flow. Okay. You're going to hear about something through the grapevine that's going to bring you more abundant success. And maybe bring in somebody who's a true gem. There's definitely money there. Money, money, money. Fun times. Courting man. That could be you or somebody wears a business suit to work and travel. So you could even be working, um, traveling around for work, working in maybe sales, traveling around, moving around, covering new territory. There's a warning here to just don't get burnt out. Just look after yourself, pace yourself, look your best always, always look good. Okay, look your best. There's definitely something to do with import, export, goods and services, services over the seas, things taking off online, on the internet, launching websites, making it happen. You've come into your true maturity in this situation as well a man from your past who you might have been in love with could be trying to come back in but you're not going to really look at him or you might be looking at him but internally you're, you're saying it's not really feeling right this is internal that's external you could be saying oh this is not really this is not really uh feeling right i'm not feeling this it's not living up to its full potential so why bother so short term break no it's over and out for you. This person could be reaching out communication or you could be reaching out to them for whatever reason to get closure. I feel like there's closure with the past. Whether you see the person or you don't or they come back or they don't, there's some sort of closure from the past. Moving forward, you've got true gem rising. So you are the true gem. You could also be attracting somebody in who works with gemstones, crystals or jewellery or offers you a some sort of commitment ring, um, even an engagement ring, or you just find this person true gem quality. This could be the person that headhunts you and finds you, is a true gem looking for you because you are standing out to them. So you're resonating on the same level. You're feeling like you're both in sync with each other. And this could be just a work relationship. Okay, Pisces. So... It could be around your neighborhood or around the work environment that you're working in, gossip. So around the work environment, could be somebody floating around the office, floating around the businesses that you visit for your work, floating around clients, um, that type of thing. I feel like you'll just stumble into something quite naturally and that's going to really help you... Um, Feel fantastic moving forward into 2019. I just feel like this midsection for you in 2019, Pisces, is going to be on fire and you are going to be a winner in so many ways, okay? You're feeling like you've got a sense of maturity in a situation. You could be an expert at what you're doing and you're being seen as an expert as well. People are seeking your talents and... This talent is going to expand worldwide or long distance further out. You're expanding your territory. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you didn't relate, just wait and see how things unfold or look at your moon and rising sign. Lots of blessings. Take care. Ciao for now.